This is a 93% rated bike game on Roblox and it has the most realistic bikes ever. And I'm gonna show you the difference between this and a 94% rated bike game, an 83% rated bike game, all the way down to this 50% rated bike game. And the first thing you see when you join this game is the 600 Robux pack. As you can see, there's a bunch of bikes. I have 1,800 coins. This this bike is 30% off. It costs Robux. This car costs 1200 Robux? What is this game? It's all Robux. Surely a scooter doesn't cost Robux. 100 Robux. Okay, I'm actually done. What can I use my coins for? Motors? Oh, can I buy a motor? Okay, no, I need to spend Robux. Wait, coin car. Motor pumpkin costs 1k coins for once. So every time I join the game or like die, I need to spend a thousand coins to get this bike. But let's actually just get the normal bike, which I think is free. Yeah, this is the free bike. You can see the bike model. I mean, it's nothing impressive. I mean, this game, like, it looks like it was made by someone who knows how to make games. They just made it super bad on purpose. This is the circus. It's just a bunch of dirt. Look at this. I mean, the game is called motorcycle around nothing and there is nothing here okay well let's motorcycle a bit and see if we can find anything here why do i look so tiny in this bike is this bike huge or am i sure why am i sitting like this i'm pretty sure that's not how you sit on a bike i i believe like mo oh no oh my god okay i died respawn oh my god you need to pay 69 robux to respawn or else you have to wait 15 seconds wait what if i close this wait does it like if i pay do i respawn where i died call a robux motor 89 robux is this the normal call 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 your motor anywhere 59 robux bro please tell me there's stuff you can do in this game without spending robux this person donated 6k total oh my goodness but yeah i'm done with this game i'm not playing it anymore that was the 50% rated game. Later in the video, we have an 83% rated game, a 93% rated game, and finally a 94% rated game. But before that, we have to try the 75% rated game. Okay, so I just joined the 75% rated game, and I guess we're in a dealership, so this is already slightly better than the previous game. And yeah, I mean, the models are not that great. They are very blocky very leggy but 93 kilometers per hour is way better than the previous game which was like 50 kilometers per hour oh it spawns outside okay hold on hold no that's my okay this person just stole my bike let me get my bike there you go oh my god bro look how i am sitting on this bike my feet are up on the fuel tank what the heck oh this is the person that stole my other bike okay and i just crashed into a person hold on i just noticed something look at the game passes each game pass costs four robux and if you want to get all of them it costs 20 robux that's actually sick dude okay so at least the person who made this game isn't as big of a pay to win monster as the previous game what would be fun in this game is actually doing a race because as you can see you can collide into other bikes i think it's definitely worth to try just to check out the physics in this thing oh my god this is so goofy but yeah moving on to the next game now we're moving into the no biking games territory well as you can see i am quite broke the currency of the game is called like rm which i believe is malaysian and here we are this this is like an actual map compared to the two previous games you can see there's a bunch of bikes here what the heck bro why is there a pig that you can drive what is going on this has to be a joke there's also rarity so these are rare it says this is the bm w s1 kr and this is like one of the best bikes in real life it has an amazing sound and speed let me know what you think about it in the comments below but yeah obviously i can't afford any of these let's check what bike i do have and oh my god i only have a scooter apparently well 
at least the bike detail is amazing this is like way better than what we've had it does look a little bit on the lower quality side of things like it's not highly realistic but it is quite detailed you can see the suspension and so on let's actually ride this thing oh my god you have proper bike animations how is this thing going 170 kilometers per hour oh my god it's vibrating so much like these tires are so thin i don't think they can survive this speed let's see can we do a wheelie um oh my god we're doing a wheelie we're doing a wheelie now i'm not gonna lie this map is actually sick though it's quite big so you can grind your money driving around here i am barely getting money though <gasps> oh my oh my god i just killed someone okay i think i might be on the wrong side of the road <gasps> Oh, you can do deliveries. Okay, so I picked up a pizza. I don't know where I'm going, to be honest. So I hope I don't get lost. They're so far away. I better get paid well. This is like rich people stuff. Oh, this is like Bloxburg. Okay, P to give. Okay, they gave me like 500 right there. I love the bike physics, the bike detail. The map is amazing. And the fact that there's jobs, and I do believe there are races in this game. It all makes this game slightly better. And it deserves all the players that it gets however there is a slightly better game that came out recently which is what we're gonna be playing next i'm of course talking about the ride this is supposed to be the sequel to drag project you can see the menu or the ui is somewhat similar to drag projects especially the money it's pretty much the same you might also notice i have a lot of money in this game and that's because one of the admins gave it to me but here we are this is the car or no this is the bike dealership and when you go in you can see all the bikes they have here you might think they're similar to drag projects but you're gonna notice the bikes are a little bit detailed they're shinier they're more polished you can see this is the bmw s1 kr this bike is sick this is my favorite bike in this game one of them can go like 409 kilometers per hour when you max it out and yeah you heard me right max it out there is bike upgrades in this game as well let me know what you think about the colors but yeah you can see there's so much detail put into this i mean even like inside the bike there is detail that you would never see but they put in there just because they need to put in there this map is sick i don't think it's as big and as detailed as the drag project map there's a little jump here that i want to try let's see if we can go back on the highway oh my god you can see if you come here you can customize your bikes so once you open up the menu it just shows you all the different bikes you have so i'm gonna select my yamaha something something i can have this skinny rim imagine driving a bike with this sort of rim uh, but you can upgrade your horsepower i already have this bike maxed out you can upgrade your top speed but let's test out this bike with the goofy tires does this like affect handling or anything oh my god this is hilarious look how fast we're we're going with this stupid tire oh my god we're actually going 372 kilometers per hour with this tiny tire but yeah overall i do think this game is sick it does deserve the rating it has the only thing it's lacking is like missions or stuff to do which brings us to the final game motorcycle mayhem this game has a 94 percent rating only one percent better than the previous game and here is the bike shop Oh my god, you can see all the different bikes they have on display here. This is the Dugati PR, which I believe is just supposed to be a Ducati. I mean, this bike doesn't look too bad for a starter bike. But what is different about this game and what I do like about this game is that there's traffic. So you actually have like to avoid traffic to gain money and so on. But yeah, the bikes are not as realistic as the ride. I think they are decently detailed, but not as detailed. I'm going 100. 90 kilometers per hour right there that's not too bad that's like faster than my real life car something i do like about this game is that if you crash you actually die oh my god that's a bit graphic i think you can also see the wheel
wheelie records of other people. This guy held the wheelie for 500 seconds? That's like almost 10 minutes. Oh my god. So there's a chop shop here. Hold on, let me spawn my bike. So you can also customize your bike in this game. So I can change the primary color, the secondary color, the wheel color. I can add decals. And I can also add trails. Although, I would have hoped you would at least be able to upgrade your bike. I do hope they can make like the traffic a bit more intense or at least have like servers where there's a lot of traffic or maybe there's police or something but yeah that's pretty much it for this game